Are you ready to spend more time outdoors in your patio and enjoying the summer weather? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to show you the best hacks that you have to try. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited guys to have you here today and for today's video we're going to be having a pretty long video but it's going to be so much fun because I'm going to share with you 20 hacks and DIYs that for sure you have to try now for summer. They are perfect for outdoors and your patio. They're going to make your outdoors look so beautiful. And if you love these ideas, please say big thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. Make sure that you are subscribed and make sure that you check the links in the description box. I leave you all the links for my social media pages and my other channel just on my home. And let's get started. Let's DIY together. For this product, you can check at the crafters square section for this wood container. It comes in different shapes like an apple and a castle, but I really like these pineapples because they are great now for summer. So I take three of them and what I'm going to do is to stick these three um, pineapple containers together with hot glue. You can use wooden glue just to make it so much stronger, but um, I like the hot glue because it dries faster. Once I stick all of these these pineapple containers together I decide to paint these you can use any color you want you can use a stain I'm going to be using some wax in a thick color to paint these wood and what I like to do is to add a little bit of water on the wax to make the color a little bit lighter and it's going to be so much easier and faster to paint next I'm going to dry everything with my heat tool that always works amazing and you can find the link of that in the description box of this video I decide to use these pineapple containers to um, organize the plastic spoons and knives that I have and I like to use when I have parties or um, to go outside and make a barbecue. You can identify that by making a small label. I decide to use some Scrabble letters that I get from Amazon. I'm going to leave you the link of that in the description box. I add the first letter on each pineapple container and then I just have to organize my utensils and put them where they go you maybe can add another pineapple to put straws or something like that I think it's so perfect when you have a party to keep your utensils organized in a cute way Okay, for this project, I'm going to be using these two clear bowls that I get from Dollar Tree in the party section and I'm going to stick them together. So to stick them and make sure that they stick very strong and well, I'm going to be using E6000 glue and also I'm going to add um, hot glue just to make sure that it dries faster. I'm going to be sticking them this way and then um, I'm going to be painting them. You can use any color you want. I decided to go with black so I'm going to be using my spray paint in ultra matte black color. I'm going to paint this outside and then I'm going to let it dry very well. Once I paint these in black color, I decide that I want to add some texture to it. So for that, I'm going to be using a nautical rope and I get this one from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be adding these on like two thirds of these piece. Um, I think it's going to look super nice. It's still going to have the black color and all of the design that the bowl has. Um, but I think the rope is going to add a really nice, um, interesting look. Once I stick the rope on the balls, this is how it's going to look and I really like it. Um, now it is time to add these stones that you can get from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to add one back, then I'm going to be adding the Fancy Heat Wig. You can find this at Dollar Tree now that it's summer. And then I'm going to cover everything with more stones. I'm going to be putting this outside and it's perfect for the night to, um, I don't know, make s'mores. And I think it looks so 
good I added to the top of the table but a really good idea is that you can make holes on the bowls on the bottom part to make sure that when rains all the water just go down and don't stay stuck in the bowls I'm going to be using this bamboo wreath that I got from Dollar Tree and I found that you can get this into different sizes I think this is the big one and next I'm going to be using these ferns that I also got from Dollar Tree and I really like them they're from a really good quality they look amazing and also they are made with a piece of wire in the center and that's very convenient what I'm going to be doing is to cut the ferns and then I'm going to be sticking these inside of the wreath because this is a bamboo wreath is super easy to do that um, and I'm going to be using about um, like 10 ferns that means only like two bushes um, from Dollar Tree um, so only two dollars so this project is going to turn out so inexpensive um, and I did the same in all of the wreath I um, accommodate the ferns making sure they look like a little bit curved and then I insert all of the ferns in my bamboo wreath and you can insert these inside of the bamboo wreath but you can also use hot glue or E6000 to make sure that all of the greenery is going to stick well and strong and it's not going anywhere once I stick those I think my wreath needs to look a little bit more fuller so I'm going to be using these other ferns these ones are a little bit smaller but I'm not sure if these ones are from Dollar Tree or from Walmart for only 98 cents or something like that um, but anyways, it's still less than one dollar so, and that's great. So I use these to basically fulfill all of my wreath. Finally, I have these other ferns at home. I think they're so cute, so pretty. Um, so I decide to add those two to complete my wreath. So basically I use three different ferns um, but you can use maybe other um, type of greenery that you have and you like. I was just so excited to make a wreath out of ferns. Next I decide to add a cute bow with this ribbon that I have at home I think from, from the Christmas season. It's just white and black um, and I really like it so I'm going to be making a bow and I'm going to add that in the top of the wreath and then I'm going to attach that with a piece of ute. You can make a small hoop on the back side of this wreath to be able to hang these anywhere and I decided to hang these on the um, door that I have on the backyard and I really like it. I think it pop out really good with my orange door um, and I really like it. It turned out so inexpensive and I think it looks so perfect now for summer and it is super easy to do. For this next project, I'm going to be using this juice jar with lead that I found at the dollar store and I love the shape that it has. The shape that this juice jar have reminds me to all of the Radon brand decor pieces that you can find maybe at Marshalls and stores like that that are pretty expensive. So let's recreate that using my Cricut. I made an easy decal that says lemonade in black color and then I'm going to stick that on my juice jar and that's it guys this is how the project turned out I really like it I think it completely elevates the look of this juice jar love the color that it comes with it and I love the shape like I said perfect now for the spring and the summer season to use it as a decor piece but but it's also functional
for this next project you can use your Cricut if you have it or maybe you can use some letters from Dollar Tree or something that you can get um, at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Michaels and I decided to make like a decal that says hello sunshine and what I'm going to do is to make two projects with these decals. First I'm going to use the decal that has the letters, hope that makes sense. I'm going to put that on a transfer tape and I'm going to stick that on a piece of wood sign that I have at home to make an easy and simple hello sunshine sign for my home decor you can add a tooth hanger on the back side to hang this on the wall and like I said this is a super easy DIY decor piece that you can do on a budget to decorate your home now for summer Now I'm going to be working with the second part of this project. I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to add a transfer tape on top of this decal because now it's going to work as a stencil. And I'm going to stick this stencil on a mat that you can get at Dollar Tree. I got the one that has like bones and a dog designs, but the design doesn't actually matter because I'm going to be using only the back side of this mat because it has like one only one color is a neutral piece um, and it's going to work so much better with your project and what I'm going to do is to stick the stencil on the mat and then very careful I'm going to remove the transfer tape that has um, to be able to work with my stencil and add some paint I'm going to use like a yellow color on the hello word and I'm going to be painting that this is Waverly shock paint and I really like it because it covers well with only one coat of paint and it dries so quickly for the sunshine word, I'm going to be using like, like an orange color that I like. It's also from the Waverly Shock Paint brand. And I'm going to be painting that word and then I'm going to let everything dry as well. Once everything is completely dry, I'm going to be removing the stencil from my mat and that's it. This is a super easy DIY that anyone can do. It's so much fun and it's going to look perfect on your front door. It's going to give it that summer vibe and it's going to save you some money because this mat only cost me $1.25 from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this giant bucket. You can get this from Dollar Tree and you can use this for so many things, for storage, for organization. And I decided to make this in a, like a planter. So I'm going to be covering this with a rope. I get this rope from Walmart. You can do the same using um, the rope from Dollar Tree, just I didn't have enough at home. So I'm going to be using this one and I, and I actually like it a lot because of the color and it is super thick. So um, I'm going to be adding this, but I'm going to be mixing the rope into different colors, into different ones, just to make it a little bit more fun um, and interesting. So I'm going to be adding this other rope. It's a little bit more darker. I have this one at home for, for like a year or two. Um, and I really like it. I didn't have too much of this rope. So I'm going to be adding the rope in like sections, intersecting the lighter one and the dark one. Um, I decide to keep the handles. I think they look super nice. So I'm going to be covering them with more rope. So first I cover both of the handles and then I continue sticking all of the rope on the bucket. And guys, you can stick the rope with hot glue. It, that is going to work well um, and it's so much faster and easier. But in some areas, I add some E6000 just to make sure that the rope is going to stick well. It's going to stay strong on the outside. 
okay once I stick all of the rope this is how it's going to look and you can add any plant that you have on the outside and then cover everything well and I forget to show you here but I also add some holes on the bottom part of this bucket with my drill just to make sure that it when it rains the water goes down so yeah this is how the project ended up looking and I really like it finally I have a really nice bucket where I have my palm and I really like how it looks um, these things can cost a lot uh, but you can do it yourself customize it and have a fun time Dollar Tree have a huge space for toys and you can be creative and you can do so many DIYs with these toys I found two soccer balls they are like foamy um, soccer balls that your kids can use but also they are great for DIYs I'm going to be using these two that had different sizes and I'm going to be painting them with spray paint uh, and just to make it easier I'm going to insert a bamboo skewer um, that way it's going to be so much easier to spray the balls with the spray paint and I'm going to be using this satin wildflower blue that I really like I use this a lot for Easter and now I want to use it for these balls this is going to be like my vase color but for the vase color you can use any color that you like I'm also going to be using these glass gems that you can get at Dollar Tree and it comes in different colors. It's transparent, um, like a light blue, green, blue. I found these two colors that I really like. It's like a green tone that is going to look so good with the blue vase from the soccer ball. So what I'm going to do is to stick all of these glass gems on the balls. And then for that, I'm going to be using super glue and hot glue. This way is going to stick faster because of the hot glue but it's going to stay stronger and well attached because of the super glue you can start at any point of the ball and just start sticking all of them as close as you can I leave a small space on the bottom of this ball because I want to put these on a table and I want to make sure that it's going to stay there like and it's not going to move because this is a ball. So I'm going to leave a small space on the bottom without the glass gems and that way the ball is going to be more stable. Once I'm done with the first one, I'm going to be working with the next ball. This one is a little bit bigger. So I got two packages of the glass gems and I'm going to start just doing the same process I'm going to stick them with hot glue and super glue to cover the whole ball but again I'm going to leave a small space on the bottom so that way the ball can stay um, stable and it's not going to be moving and this is how this project turned out I'm so happy and excited about this project I think it's one of my favorites they look amazing perfect for your outdoor table or maybe on your bathroom or any space they look beautiful For this next project I'm going to be using this piece of wood that I have for a really long time and I get it from Hobby Lobby on clearance but um, Dollar Tree have very similar pieces that you can use for this maybe a sign or even a plate you can use anything that you have and if you don't have a Cricut you can use this electric tape like I'm going to do you can also get it at Dollar Tree what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try to create a tic-tac-toe game so I'm going to stick four pieces of tape creating like the base of my game once I have that part ready this is how it's going to look now you just need the pieces for that you can use rocks or stones and instead of adding like the X and O letters you can paint your stones or your rocks it's super easy I'm going to be using Waverly shock paint in these two different colors and I'm going to paint half in the blue color and the other half in the orange color I'm going to give it two coats of paint just to make sure that looks good and then I'm going to dry everything with my heat tool 
once my stones are painted I'm basically done with my project you can start playing this game it's super cool I have done this game so many times in different times of the year using different supplies but I think this one is one of my favorite ones and I think the easiest one especially if you don't have a Cricut For this next project, you can use these stir sticks that you can get from um, Home Depot or Lowe's. They cost only one dollar, comes three in a package. I'm going to be using two packages in total. Or you can use the sticks from Dollar Tree. I'm really using this piece, but basically what I did was to cut six pieces, stick all of them together with popsicle stick and then stain the wood. Super easy and simple. I'm going to leave you the link of that video in the description box. I want to make a sign with these. So I'm going to use my Cricut and I make a decal that says gardening tools. And I'm going to stick that on the top of this wooden piece. Or you can use a stencil, stickers, or write it by hand. Next, I want some kind of hooks and I found these ones at Dollar Tree. They are plastic, gray for glass, but I want to change the color. I'm going to be painting this black. It's going to look so much better. And then to stick them on the wood, I'm going to be using super glue and hot glue. Now for the gardening tools, um, you can go to Dollar Tree. They have, they have really good options, different kinds of tools and in different colors. I get the three different ones that they have in a gray color and I'm going to hang these on the hooks. And then I'm going to be putting this sign outdoors and it's going to be great for all of the gardening that my husband is doing. Not me, my husband. I'm really bad with plants, but at least I can help with the fun DIYs. <laughs> using just a very random piece of wood that I have at home and you can also use maybe a sign from Dollar Tree. On the back side I'm going to be adding this tooth hanger to be able to hang these on my walls. Once I add the tooth hanger on the back, I'm going to be putting three nails on the front of this wooden piece. Um, make sure that the nails that you're going to use are pretty long because these are going to be like some hangers for the pictures that we are going to be using next. I found these pictures at the dollar store and I really love the shape that they have and they're very cheap so I decided to use them I don't like the color so I'm going to change that for this Waverly shock paint in moss color I love to paint with a shock paint it's super easy and it dries so fast so what I'm going to do is to paint these um, pictures with two really good coats of paint and I'm going to let them dry make sure that when you are painting uh, just try to paint like in one direction so that your project and the paint is going to look uniform and good and it's going to have this high-end look you can also use maybe spray paint if you want or acrylic paint and in between coats I'm going to be using my heat tool to dry everything faster
once the three pictures are dry i'm going to be adding them to my piece of wood like i said they're going to be hanging on the nails that i just put on the wood piece and once i have that part ready basically the project is done super easy and it looks beautiful now what you can do is to add some flowers or greenery inside of the pictures i found this greenery at dollar tree and i really like it so i add that and i hang my project on the wall and this is how it looks love the results super easy on a budget looks beautiful just one idea that you can do with the pictures that you can find at the dollar stores For the next project, you have to look for the mats that Dollar Tree have. They have so many and I decided to go with a simple one. Um, this is like a dock mat, um, so I decided to go with that one. I'm also going to need some stones and this time I decided to go with these black stones that are so cute. They are perfect, just the perfect stones for this project. I get four packages of stones for this um, project and I'm going to start are basically just sticking all of these stones on my mat but because this is going to be an outdoor mat you need a really good glue so I got this silicone glue at Amazon it costs like three or four dollars so inexpensive and it's more than enough for this mat so I'm going to leave you the link of this glue in the description box of this video Going, like I said, I get four packages of these stones and I only ended up using like three packages and a half and I stick all of the rocks in my mat. I let it dry for 24 hours and this is how my project turned out. Guys, it's a super easy project. It's going to take a little bit of time because you have to glue all of these like stones. But for me, it was so relaxing and I really enjoyed doing it. And I hope that you like this idea. It's a unique piece that you can do at home and it looks really exciting expensive but it was on a budget DIY I'm going to be using these um, frames that I got from Dollar Tree and they are so so beautiful I love the shape they have um, this is perfect to make so many like B DIY decor pieces um, but this time I'm going to be using these um, to make something a little bit different I decided to got three from Dollar Tree and they have a black frame and I'm really happy with that so the first thing that I did was to separate um, like the back part the glass all of the pieces of cardboard and paper that it has to be able to work only with the frames now that I remove all of those pieces it's time to attach and stick all of these frames together and for that I'm only going to be using a little bit of hot glue but you can use maybe E6000 or super glue to make it stronger Now that I have these, it's time to add a bottom part to be able to make this as a tray. Now I want to make the bottom part of the tray super cute and I found this placemat with these kind of like a tile design in these blue tones and I think this is just so so perfect now for summer. So I decide to use that. I draw the shape, then I cut it and then I'm going to stick that on the piece of cardboard. Now that I have that part ready, it's time to put this piece back to the um, frames. So I'm just going to be adding the screws that it needs.
now because this is a tray I wanted to be able to like grab these so I'm going to be making two small handles with some rope I cut two small pieces of nautical rope from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to be attaching them one to each side of the tray um, I use hot glue but again you can use E6000 to make it stronger once I have my project ready, this is how it looks on my side table on my backyard and I really like it. I think it's so beautiful, so perfect to put some drinks on it or use it as a decor to add maybe like a jar and plants inside of this tray. I love the pattern that the placemat has and I think it looks perfect now for summer. For this project you can use these wood hanging decor pieces that you get at Dollar Tree um, but this time I decided to use these wood slices that I get from Amazon and they are so cool you can do so many things with them this time I'm going to be using them to make some coasters so what I'm going to do is paint on them I'm going to be using some paint in red color white and green and I'm going to paint some watermelons on these coasters and guys this is a a super easy DIY that anyone can do and you can have so much fun and you can do this with your kids I'm going to be using first green to paint a thick line around the, the wood slices and then I'm going to let that dry then I'm going to be doing the same with some white paint and in the center I'm going to be painting everything with a red color Now to make like the seeds of the watermelon, I'm going to be using a black sharpie and I'm going to make like five or six seeds on the center of this watermelon slice. And again, I'm going to be letting everything dry. And because this is going to be um, a coaster, I want these to have like a protective coat. So I'm going to use some spray paint. I'm going to spray this outside and then let it dry. This is how this project turned out. It's super easy, so much fun. Anyone can do it. I paint these by hand and each one of them are really unique and I love that. And now I have the perfect summer coasters to put my cups. For this next project, I'm going to be working with this watering can that you can get right now at Dollar Tree and it's super cute, I love the shape it has, but I don't like the colors they come. So I decided to use some metallic copper spray paint and I'm going to paint the whole piece with only one coat, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, just one simple coat of paint because I'm going to be using some wax in antique color. I'm going to be using a napkin and I'm going to add a small amount of wax on the napkin and then I'm going to start adding that on the watering can and this is going to make a really cute um, effect on the watering can is going to look like a super antique piece it's going to have a high end look um, I don't know I just love this effect and you can do the same with maybe a gold paint or with a metallic silver color too um, it depends on what color do you like the most and then I'm gonna dry everything with my heat tool works amazing the link is going to be in the description box I'm going to be adding a small piece of foam on the watering can because I want to add flowers and greenery and this is up to you you can use any flower that you like the most all of these um, that I use are from Dollar Tree and I really like them and I stick them on the piece of foam that I just put you can use this watering can to put like on the top of the table I want to use it as a wreath so I'm going to make two small holes on the back of the watering can and I'm going to put like a piece of twine to 
be able to hang these from the door and the final touch is going to be adding a small decal that says bye or maybe you can add a decal that says welcome on the bottom part of the watering can and that's it this is how this project turned out if you want to put these outside you maybe can add two small holes on the bottom part of this watering can just in case that when it rains um the water is not going to stay on the watering can or you can leave it like it is um and use it indoors then this is how the project turned out it's absolutely beautiful and i Love it. The weather is changing and it's super hot outside at least here in Puerto Rico so what I'm going to do is like a small station to protect my kids and me from the Sun and also mosquitoes what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be using this metal basket you can get this at Dollar Tree and I really like it because of all of the twine that it already have but I really need these to have some handles um, if you have a basket like from Easter you can use that but for now what I'm going to do is to add a handle to the basket using nautical rope from Dollar Tree I'm going to be making some small knots on each side and then I'm going to stick those on my basket you can hang these outside or you can hang these on maybe your entryway um this is a very functional way to have your your mosquito repellent and the sunblocks or sunscreen everything in one place close to your door once you have to leave your house to be outside or in the patio and it's super hot and sunny you can add some protection to you or your kids and i think it's a pretty cool and functional diy that you have to try now for spring and summer to be using these floor mats you can get these adultery any season anytime they always have these so I'm going to be using them what I was not uh, like super happy about is that all of the edges are cut in like a round shape so I'm going to be cutting all of the edges I'm going to make my floor mat a little bit smaller but that's okay I just want to get out of those round edges and make sure that they look straight um, I'm going to be using two floor mats and I'm going to be measuring both of them to make sure that they are the exact same size. Then I'm going to be sticking these two floor mats together on the back side and for that I'm going to be using just some duct tape and you can also add a little bit of hot glue to make sure that um, it stays stronger. I'm going to cut just a little bit to make sure that they look straight and then it's time to add any design that you want on your floor mats you can paint them you can add a stencil um, you have so many options I think one of the cheapest and easiest way is to use just some tape I get this blue one from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be adding these to the floor mats creating like small squares that in the end they're going to look like small um, circles but that's okay I start to stick in them um, diagonally and then I did the same but in the opposite direction Next is time to paint these and I tried to paint this outside with um, some white spray paint but it didn't work. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the uh, material of these floor mats. I don't know but it didn't get like the color of the spray paint so I decided to use some shock paint in white color and I paint one by one of these small squares and then I just let them dry and it works so much better. Once the paint is super dry, you can remove all of the tape and I love this process um, and yeah, this is how the floor mat ended up looking and I really like it. I'm going to be putting this outside and I add this rope mat on top that I did a few months ago and this is how the project ended up looking. I really like it. I think it's going to add a really fun and nice touch on my outdoors. this next 
Max project, you can use any um, wreath that you have at home. I'm going to be using this super big one that I always use for my front door. It's like a grapevine wreath that I get from a thrift store. And I'm going to be decorating and making these the perfect touch now for summer for my front door. I'm going to add this home sign that I have that I DIY with a piece of wood and the home sign is from Dollar Tree. Now it has like a heart shape at the end. I want to cover that with a lemon that I DIY last year for summer so I'm going to stick that with hot glue. I like to decorate my wreaths super simple but in a cute way. I like to put a lot of greenery so I'm going to be doing that and what I like about the Grey Vines wreath is that they are super easy to stick um, like the stems of the flowers or the greenery um, without having to stick them with hot glue so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to put some really cute and big leaves on each side to give it a really nice summery touch Like you see, I'm going to be using lemons to decorate my wreath. So I'm going to get two packages of these lemons that you can get at Dollar Tree. And to be able to stick them on my wreath without any glue, I'm going to stick a stem on them with some leaves so that their wreath can look a little bit more like fuller with different types of leaves. And I'm going to put them where all the greenery is. And yeah, that's it. This is how this project turned out. I love, love, love how this wreath turned out. You can put this wreath outside on your front door or maybe you can put these inside maybe on the top of the fireplace or something like that i don't know you can be so creative with this and i hope that you like this idea these mat that I got from Dollar Tree and I love making rugs so I decided to make one today and you're only going to need some rope from Dollar Tree and basically what I'm going to be doing is to stick the rope on the mat you can cut so many pieces in the same size and then you just have to stick them in a straight uh, line creating lines or you can stick them creating any shape maybe like an oval or something like that just to cover your mat I'm going to be doing these in this way because it's super easy and it's going to look amazing but as you can see I'm leaving um, some rope extra on the sides because this is going to add a nice touch at the end that you're going to see in just a few seconds okay once I cover my mat completely with the rope I'm going to be adding an extra detail you don't need to do these but I think it works so well on my mat because I'm going to be basically like sewing the sides of the rock with some ute I'm going to be adding these ute on the edge of the rock and it's, it's for like extra protection in addition of that it's going to add a nice touch I am going to be tying this ute above and below above and below between all of the ropes and this will help me to get them all together and stay as a one piece on my rug Now because I leave that extra rope on the sides of the rock, um, I want to like unroll or like unbraid all of the rope and make it look like a little bit more puffy. And I really, really like how this looks on my rock. It's super easy. Um, and once I have that side, I'm going to be doing the same in the other side of the rock guys with this rug you have so many possibilities you can add a stencil and add some paint to write wherever you want on your rocks maybe like hi or goodbye or welcome and i think it's going to look so cool okay once i was done this is how my project turned out and i really 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 like it it's so beautiful so easy to do i spent about nine ropes from Dollar Tree to cover the whole mat. It looks high-end um, and it's perfect for outdoors. I'm so ready for summer. I just can't stop doing projects like these and I just hope that you like them. For this next 
project I'm going to be using this tote bag from Dollar Tree and I really really like this I think it's perfect now for summer you can um, put so many things inside but I want to add it um, a few things to make it look high-end so the first thing that I'm going to be using is this faux leather ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I really like this it's going to give it more texture to the tote bag so I'm going to be adding these and I'm going to stick those strips with a little bit of hot glue I'm going to be doing the same thing in both sides of my tote bag and this is going to give it a really nice touch. Next, I decide to add something extra to the handles to make them look a little bit better. So for that, I'm going to be using some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Now, um, you can get this nautical rope, it's super thick. Um, so I decided to unroll the rope and then um, use one of those parts of the rope to cover the handles. So I'm going to be twisting these all over the handles you can add a little bit of hot glue to make sure that it sticks strong and this is super easy to do it's gonna take you a couple minutes but it's super easy with just one rope you're gonna be able to cover these handles um, and so many other things if you want now because of these is a plastic tote bag um, the handles kind of like separate so I'm going to be adding just a piece of twine I'm going to like make a bow to tie them together or you can add some hot glue if you want now you can use this for the core and I really like it I love like that salmon color that the tote bag has now with all of these textures that I add I put some greenery inside you can add towels a sunblock and this is perfect to have it on the backyard it can be super useful or you can use it as a decor piece I really hope that you can get some ideas and inspiration from these DIYs and that you create your own DIYs and projects to decorate your home on a budget. If you like this video, please give me that big thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel and let me know in the comments which of these ideas is one of your favorites. I'm going to be reading all of your comments and make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I'm going to be uploading new videos. Thank you so much for the love and support. Remember that you can also follow me on my social media pages all of the links are always in the description box of this video thank you thank you so much for the love and support and see you on my next one Mwah. bye guys